Hello and welcome to the 8th video in this beginner series making an app in Vue.js and Vuetify. So starting from where we were in the last video we can select our nation, everything's good. In this video I want to call a function when I select something here because it's a little bit of a surprise where when you do that with the way things are working and I'd like to display the player data just purely as a JSON below from our object uh, for the relevant country that we select. So starting with the uh, function then um, if I just take this from on click with our button, we've got this V on and click calls a function. What's well, exactly the same thing with a small change for a select. Here we have to just say V on and change, and then whatever function we ask to call that's inside the method section of our uh, view uh, application object will be then called. So I'm just going to call this selection changed. And now what we need to do is we need to put inside scripts.js a selection changed function and that will be called then when the selections changed. Now to a little bit of time I've already prepared one here and I'll just paste that in because we don't actually need this functionality for our app to be working but essentially what we're, I'm going to do here is say that whenever our selection changes call this selection changed function and I'm going to log to the console the selected country and even though we don't need this functionality for our app to be working there is something interesting that goes on here that I'd like you to see that's important uh, maybe for the way your apps are working. I'm just going to click load data, select a nation, and now you can see that I get selected nation. This dot selected country is undefined, but I selected Germany. If I now select Spain, you'll see that it says the selected country is Germany, even though I've selected Spain. And in fact, if I scroll down to the bottom, we can see that selected country is Spain. Well, the simple thing is, is that the function's been called before the value of selected country has actually been set. And this is something that's really, really important to know. So you might in your app, I don't know, want to change colors or put an alert or something when the selection has changed so you have your nice function here that does all your good stuff when you change the selection but you need to be aware of when the value of selected country is actually being set otherwise they could trip you up a little bit when your code continues to run inside this function here. So getting back to the main thing that we need to do in the app we need to display eventually a table uh, underneath here um, underneath this vLayout here which will contain all the player data for the relevant country that we select. Now going back to the API you can remember that we've got API data as our object and here in the top tens indexed by key we've got all of our player data. So what I want to be able to do is take my selected country key and then select from top tens the relevant country which contains then a list of all the top players, top ten players in that country. So the first thing I'm going to do then is I'm actually going to make a V content and more importantly I'm going to make a V content just below the V layout here with a V if that says only display what's inside this content please if a country has been selected by the user otherwise let's not render this section here. And now comes the trickiest part but hopefully after a few videos it's fairly uh, self-explanatory now we actually have to get what we want to display. Where in our case we want API data but what we want, as I said now, is we actually want to go into the top 10. So top underscore 10 S, reminding myself as well. So top underscore 10 S. And now we want to access according to what the selected country is. So you remember going back into the API that here we've got all of our lists, all that indexed by the key for the relevant country. Now, of course, we can't use the dot notation inside uh, JavaScript here because we're accessing this using uh, a variable as the key. So we'll have to use the square brackets notation. So I drop my selected country in there and that should then give me inside the application the relevant players list that I'll need for my table later on when I select my nation. So I'll just go back into the app here empty cache and reload, load data, now select a nation. And here you can see now I've got a list of some objects and the first player on here is Manuel Neuer, plays for Germany so things look all right. I can select then France, first player I've got here is Antoine Griezmann, plays for France. So that's us up and run running and in future then when we start building the, the app underneath we can start rendering our table properly with the information that's inside here. Okay then, so that's uh, relatively simple, just finishing off the MD select then, so the V on change calling your function, making sure you're aware of exactly when we set the value, and then here simply using, we have to use the brackets notation when we've got actually accessing, uh, using a key that's based on a variable, here using our API, accessing our API to display our list of players. So relatively short and sweet, if you've got any problems or confused or anything drop me a, a comment in the YouTube video, otherwise thanks very much for watching and see you in the next one.